Hey everyone, welcome back. I am out foraging again. This is Saturday, May 12th. I was here a week ago, and as you can tell, the ferns are growing. Last week, the ferns were only like six to eight inches high, and this is what a week does. They're almost uh, thigh high at me, almost 36 inches, 30 inches or so, but I walked in the woods maybe 30 yards, maybe 50 yards, and found a, a pheasant's back already. So I'll show you this, and I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna pick it just yet. I'm gonna walk around the woods, see if I can find any more mushrooms to pick, and pick this one on the way out. Here's the pheasant's back. It's a nice, small mushroom it'll taste good be nice to saute that up with some onions to put on top of a steak that'll be great all right i'm a little bit deeper into the woods now as i'm walking into the woods more i found another st i found a stump with uh, a pheasant's back on it this is a little bit more of a um, bigger piece, um, maybe almost a little bit too big. Here, take a look. It's still soft. There's a, one underneath, which is kind of cool. And then there's one right here. I thought about just putting a, a waypoint on here. Here's some more that's going to be starting to grow. I don't know if this was eaten already. Nope, that's still all attached. And there's some right over there uh, growing off of, of the tree. I'm going to go check that out. And I think there's another stump with some more on. So I'm going to take give that a look-see. Here's a tree I was talking about. It's got uh, quite a few pheasants back on it. Kind of neat. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I bet you within three days, those little ones here will be as big as this one. No morels to speak of yet. I don't know if it's too wet where I'm at right now. But I thought for sure there'd be some uh, morels growing. <laughs> All right, everyone. I uh, came to this place last week, Saturday, and found this dead tree. I'm, I believe it's an And bark is all slipping off. There's bark all over I walk, there's a little game trail right here. Walk over, looked over here, and there's, I didn't look too closely yet. Those are, I think it's two morels, maybe three, but that's all I found yet. I'm thinking one big one. I'm going to pick it, and I'll lay it down for you. All right, there they are. Only two of them. But look how... Big they are compared to my pocket knife. This is a good size morel. A lot bigger than the ones I picked last night. This is so awesome. Sorry for my finger being there. But I don't know if there's any more. I'm going to have to dig deeper because there's all kinds of brush here. Um, all kinds of little piles of brush. So I'm going to have to scope it out and see if there's any more all right everyone uh time is winding down i need to get back home so i came back to this stump where i saw the the three pheasants back so i'm gonna harvest these and go get one more that was on that uh broken branch there is a bunch of pheasant back in this woods the one that i showed you on that tree over there I'm going to leave those. Those are seem kind of tough, you know. These are a little bit thinner. 
and they're flexible those weren't so these would be good fried up in a frying pan with some butter and garlic so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the sides next to the stump and put them in a plastic bag and head back to the that last one or the first one that I saw and head back to the truck all right what's really nice is this knife right here it's <laughs> orange so if you drop it nine times out of ten or not, I'm 99 percent sure you'll see it I have another one at home that's actually brown camouflage and I would probably end up losing if I set it down somewhere so bright bright colored tools out in the woods okay I'm gonna just take this knife go along here see how easy that's cutting right towards here it gets a little bit a little bit of resistance so it's real real thin not much this is all the thicker it is the one on that that smells real good too smells like watermelon a watermelon rind the other one on that other tree it was probably a good two and a half inches thick so I'm going to set this aside, do the same thing to this one. That's two, three. There you go. All right, here's the first one I found. This one's a lot smaller than the other ones. So all I'm going to do is cut right there. Take that with me. Yeah, if you if you take a smell of the pheasant back, it smells really good actually. It's kind of got a they say a watermelon rind. I can yeah. But there's something I can't, I can't place. It smells like something else too, but it smells good. So, so yeah, if you made it this far in this video of foraging, looking for mushrooms, morels, pheasant back, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know how everyone else is doing, how you're doing, and hit that subscribe button notification bell yada 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 so did i say give me a thumbs up i probably did <laughs> so thanks for coming along on this little foraging trip i will hopefully have some more in the future in the next uh week or two i i think it's kind of prime for picking rails I haven't really found a whole lot but might be on the incline of the prime hopefully and not on the other side so all right until then enjoy the little things all right just to a uh, little side note for everyone i'm not an expert of foraging i just know of a few things to pick that are edible and if you're uncertain with what you're doing what you're picking or what you want to look for do some research. I say get a book, but people don't probably use books anymore. Google it, look it up, go to YouTube, and just make sure you know what you're picking so you don't end up getting sick or ultimately die, all right? Just make sure what you're looking for. Thanks.